it was one of my areas in particular, um, and actually it was when I was companions with Mark, um, who's who you've interviewed before. Um, we we uh, had just gotten out of a just a zone conference, and so we you know had learned a lot of new things, a lot of new things that we could try um, as far as missionary work goes, um, because we hadn't had too much success. And so we we got back to our area. It was around maybe around six or seven in the evening, and usually the sun goes down around seven o'clock in the evening. And we were there. We had appointments lined up of people that we had contacted. You know, we were ready to go, and and we go, and lo and behold, all of our contacts like they just weren't available or they just fell through. Um, and so we were both feeling a little bit frustrated. You know, a little bit uh, down hardened. Uh, um, because there wasn't, uh, you know, really anything, anything for us to do. And so, um, we had previously printed out a list of the, um, just the, um, records of the, of the ward. Um, and there were some names on there that we didn't know. And actually there were a lot of names that we didn't know of people that could potentially be less active and things like that. And we, we needed to do something. So we were, and we were getting a little bit desperate. It was a time when we were getting desperate, um, as far as like the work goes. And so we just kind of sat down after trying to find people, we kind of just sat down and we opened up the list, the piece of paper, we were just sitting on the curb and we were both just like, just kind of sitting there thinking a little bit to ourselves, but I think we were both thinking the same thing. We were both thinking just like, what are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? We, we need to find somebody. And, um, so, um, my companion, he whipped out, um, you know, he, he whipped out the, this list and he just was looking down straight at it. And while I was just kind of thinking, what could we do? And, uh, um, he looked at the list and he's like, okay, I have selected someone from the list and I want you to find someone from the list and we can, and we can just go from there, you know, be guided by the spirit. And I was like, Oh, good idea. So I was looking across, I was just looking at the list of these names of people that we didn't recognize that didn't recognize and that we had, uh, um, that we had addresses for. And, uh, we came, I was looking and I remember specifically looking and I saw two names in particular. I saw one and I was, I was, I saw one, the very first one that I saw, um, was someone who was, uh, his name was Kevin and, um, I, I felt an impression for it and, but I definitely did want to, you know, not, you know, immediately exclude all of my other options. And so I was looking down the list and I found a different name and I, uh, I was like, Oh, there's a name that we can do. But after looking at that second name, um, I thought to myself, do you know what? I probably should just follow my first impression and, um, we can definitely use that. And so I just pointed, I looked at my companion and I pointed to the name that I selected. He, he just looks at me. He's like, I picked that name too. And, uh, it was a list of, you know, at least 20 names. And so I thought that was, that was something that was definitely significant. And so we're just like, let's go. So we went and we were looking for it. And, um, it just so happens that the, the, where we were looking was, happened to be directly across the street from, um, one of the, one of our members, one of the members in the ward who was a really strong member. And, um, so we, you know, we asked her and, and she let us know, she's like, I think it's that one. And it was just this gate, um, just a gate. And it, it was kind of a pathway from a gate and there were other houses, you know, along this street. And, uh, we go up to the gate and, you know, a few dogs just come up, you know, start barking at us like they want to tear us apart. That's one common thing is that dogs love missionaries. They like to, you know, hunt them down. Anyway, so, um, we go up there where we say, hello, we're looking for Kevin. Is he here? And they're just like, yeah, he's here. They go and get him. And, and we're like, can we come in and talk to you? Because we have your name on our list and we have here registered that you, um, were once baptized into the church. So that he, he actually was a, a youth of, I would say maybe 15, 15 or 16. And he was like, Oh yeah, come in. And, um, so we come in and, and we find after speaking with him, um, we learned that he, um, was baptized when he was, um, when he was definitely, when he was younger. Um, and his mother, 
actually his mother was, um, I think also a name on the list, like associated with that name. And he, um, we started talking and we found out that his mother was baptized in the church when she was fairly young as well. Um, well, along with, with her son. And so I, um, and so we just started talking with, with his mom as well. And it turns out that she, um, when she was baptized, she was, you know, um, kind of alone and it was a difficult time in her life. And she just remembers that the church definitely was something that had helped her out in her life. And since then she had married, uh, she had remarried and she had, um, a few, a few children. And, um, we asked her, we just, if we asked her if she didn't mind, um, just if she didn't mind telling us um, why she left the church and she after a second of thinking she just looked up and she was like you know I have no idea why because all of my memories that I have of the church are, are good ones really good and um, and that's where we really um, we found just this family and you know the husband had hadn't really didn't know the church all that well and uh, um, some of the children either and um, we were able to find this family from just like this impression. And we actually, we, we, um, talked with them for a while and they were eventually baptized. Um, the entire family was. And so that was, for me, that was one of my, um, one of my favorite stories is because the Lord definitely spoke to us. I mean, I honestly think that had we not, um, you know, relied on the Lord in that sense, it would have been much later, if at all, if we, you know, had been going down the list, we would have, we would have found this family, these people that, um, had definitely been prepared to receive the gospel. And, uh, so that was something that definitely was impactful for me. It was a, a learning experience for me because we can always just rely on the spirit in that sense. And, um, it can be difficult sometimes. And I think sometimes, it can be difficult to distinguish your your thoughts from from the spirits, but I think often they're one in the same. And if it's something that's really good, then it's you know why not kind of thing. It's just the spirit would be testifying to you. So that was a really cool experience that I had. Something that um, definitely impacted me.